Supervisor Kuehl's office brought a number of people together from LA County and what was wonderful about it is it was a, a real marriage or understanding between child care or early childhood education and foster care. One of the things that our uh, foster parents and future foster parents identified as a problem was child care and especially uh, this sort of emergency child care because it's the middle of the night, you're supposed to go to work the next morning, what do you do? So um, I got very interested in the fact that there were so many people that identified this as a real need. Uh, and so we, um, with the child care community and many of our foster parent um, advocates, uh, identified the need for bridge child care, which is, may not be the final place you end up, but we want to make certain that you get it when you need it and that you have six months of uh, this sort of bridge child care to identify permanent child care for your new kid. There's a lot of families out there that are accepting foster children and they're finding that foster children are having a hard time um, being placed into schools and having a little bit of separation anxiety and going been through a lot of traumatic events and they're having a hard time adjusting into a child care environment and the bridge program has reached out to child care providers um, and working together with us in order to provide better care for these children. A lot of the times the providers already have the tools they need however they don't know how to implement them and so by being present with them, I allow them a different perspective as to how to apply the interventions or the tools that they're using to decrease behaviors and ensure that the child stays with the setting. A lot of the providers are very willing to learn. A lot of the providers want to learn, so being there facilitates that for them. Another family that I can think of, um, they need a child care right away because they, they uh, had a child like overnight but they were working parents and if they didn't they couldn't take time off and if they didn't go to work they would have lost their job so we were able to find a provider almost immediately uh, the staff worked into the late night hours of a Friday night was able to get child care and on Monday the parent went to work and the child went to child care. It is really changing the language from what is wrong with you to what happened to you. And having uh, the service providers throughout the community, whether they be community-based organizations or counties or other government institutions, have the tools and skill set to understand the impact of trauma and how they can, and the way that they are approaching and connecting with families make a difference um, in that connection. The children that we serve, especially in foster care, are the children in our society who have had the most difficulties, who have been traumatized in ways that it's hard for most people to even understand. What we know is that those children are apt to have very difficult outcomes in life if they are not the recipient of the kind of services that help ameliorate the problems that they've experienced. What we know is that early childhood education gives them that kind of setting. It allows them to be with other children, but also to develop relationships with adults that are trusting. And we know from research that that causes the brain to develop more fully and in ways that's helpful to them long term. This program helps these children be able to function and be able to develop on their cognitive development, their language development, their social development, every area it's been beneficial to them and, and helping them grow. And this program helps provide us the tools and resources as caregivers uh, to, give, to give back to these children. The providers are very willing to learn and go through the process and we want to ensure that services continue to be there for them because it's reducing the re-traumatization of the child within the centers, the break, breaking of relationships. That's one of the things that I'm concerned, uh, you know, that the provider might get tired or frustrated for because they don't have the support and not having the support would equate to a child being removed again. So that's another rupture in relationship for that child. A child that maybe because of that will exhibit some behaviors in the future. And creating preventative work through this program, I think it allows for the children to uh, find someone to create a relationship with, someone that can sustain them and hold them, and someone that can teach them new things that 
probably because of their history they, they never learned or experienced. It's really about ensuring these children have a quality child development opportunity, the workforce feels supported and capable of providing um, quality, and also that the children are having this great relationship with a loving and caring home with their resource family. But what we need really to make this work even better is, of course, I would say to my colleagues, what everybody says to you, more money. But it's not a lot of money, and it's really within your grasp. Um, we need it for navigators, uh, people who help people find this child care instantly and help them stay in it for up to six months and then find a permanent situation for themselves. Uh, we need it for the trauma-informed workers who work with the children but also, you know, with the families. And also, of course, generally, we need it for the counties to be able to expand and expand and expand the program so that all 58 are doing it at, as fully as they can. I would encourage any legislator to look at this with a great deal of empathy because we know that these children need the services. We know that current systems are not set up to serve them in the way that they need to be set up. The Child Care Bridge Program makes it easier for us to access those services for those children and ultimately to give them a better opportunity in life. It's just wonderful to see that we had a dream of what, two or three years ago in terms of what this might look like? And now it's here, the people are real, the staff is real, the program is happening. And it's been a, a real wonderful experience to be able to help so many families.